Hi, and welcome to the Online Computer Tips video training course on Windows Folder and File Management. In this video, we're going to give you the first part on how to manage your files and folders, how to you know look for things, how to see how it's organized, and get you a better idea of what's going on inside your computer. Because once you get this down, it's going to make everything a whole lot easier. So what we're going to do first is we're going to show you a few different ways that you could look at your files and folders to get you started. One of the easiest ways is if you have this My Computer icon on your desktop, and if you don't, you could go to Start, and it's also listed there. So what you would do is you would double-click this icon, and it's going to open up what you have on your computer. And depending how you have your view set, it's going to look differently. So, if, like for example, we have these shown in the icon view, where it shows the big icons. And if we like, we could change it up here by clicking on this View icon. Let's say we want to look at the details, and it's going to show us, you know, the size of the drives and the folders and so on. But for now, we're going to change it to the list icon because it's the easiest to get an idea of what's going on here. So you notice on this computer, there's multiple drives, a floppy drive, a flash drive, the local drive, this, you know, which is a C drive, which every computer is going to have. And this computer has another hard drive for Vista installation, one for files, and one for storage. Plus the DVD and another removable drive and so on. So basically, you, what you might just see in yours is you might just have local C or local disk C drive only, or you may have a floppy drive. So we're going to focus on the C drive here. So what you do is, if you double click this drive, it's going to give you this message depending on how you're set up. We're going to have it show the contents. And now it's showing us the contents of the folder. And I'll switch this back to list so you can get a better look here. And within the C drive, there's all these folders. These are subfolders of the C drive. But it might be kind of hard to tell. So if you want to see more of a tree view, you can click on this folders button right here. Now this shows you back on the left here what we just saw earlier all your drives, and if you notice you click on C, it's showing the same thing here as it's showing here. So basically when you click on something here, it's going to show you the subfolders on the right. So for example, if we're going to click on this Cakewalk Projects, see what shows these folders here and then the same ones here, and you'll notice how there's an extra file here that doesn't appear here. So on the left side, it's only going to show folders, not your files. So this is going to be folders and any extra files within there. And then if you click on here, nothing in there, in there, there's files within there. So basically, if you want to go down to something with, say, like Windows, there's many folders within there. Click this to show the contents. And if you go, let's say, let's pick a folder with some stuff in here, like System32. See, there's subfolders within there, and then subfolders within there, and subfolders within there, and so on. Some of them go pretty deep. So this shows you how the tree structure works. And so another way that you can look at your files and folders is to use Windows Explorer, which is similar to my computer. And start, Programs, Accessories, and then within there, you look for something called Windows Explorer. And see how this opens it up and it gives you the tree view right off the bat instead of the other, other view, which looks more like this. So it's kind of like, a, I guess, to save you an extra step, so you go right into your tree view. But basically, it's the same thing. You'll see the same drives and the same folders within them. So basically, that's another way to do that. You could have a shortcut for that on your desktop if you wanted to do that too, just like with the My Computer icon. And then the last way is simply just to right-click on Start and pick Explore. And that basically opens up Windows Explorer and does the same thing as the, My, the Windows Explorer icon that we saw earlier. So those are your three ways for opening your, your folders and your files and seeing what's on your drives. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to search for items and how to copy and paste items and get into a little more detail. So that'll be in video number two.